hello guys now i am going to demonstrate how to upload a new firmware to your sim 800 module and in this demonstration i am using this sim 800 c evaluation board provided by simcom uh, you guys can use your own custom boards and you should make sure that you leave out the txrx and ground lines and if you're thinking that you you want to upload firmware through usb lines which is actually a better idea compared to the uart lines because usb firmware upload is uh, quite faster compared to the UART, UART upload. Uh, that's all. Make sure that you leave USB DP and USB DN lines outside. If you are uh, planning to upload firmware using your, using your USB port of SIM 800 module and uh, if you are planning to up upload firmware through your uh, TXRX and uh, TXRX lines through or through UART interface, you can always leave out the TX and RX lines. I think most of the projects, most of the boards already have TX and RX lines left out. But uh, if these lines are connected to your MCU, then it might be a good choice if you upload the firmware first to the SIM800 module before loading any firmware into your microcontroller. If you load any firmware into your microcontroller uh, which uses the UART lines, then it might interfere with the firmware upload process. So make sure that you do the firmware upload of the SIMCOM modules first before you upload any firmware to your microcontrollers. This demonstration is applicable to any SIM800 family module. This is the same for SIM800, SIM808, all the modules. So let's get started. First, I am going to show to you guys how to upload firmware using your uh, USB port. So this is the USB port already available. They have just left out the USB DN, DP and ground and V bus lines of SIM 800 module here. So you just connect this all lines to your uh, laptop. Everything is shown in this tutorial here, which is the SIM 800 C hardware design guide. Here they tell about the software upgrade process. So they say that if you are upgrading through USB interface, it is necessary to power on the SIM 800C first, then connect USB VBus, DP, DN, ground to PC, and there is no need to operate the power key pin. Uh, when it detects USB VBus, it can directly communicate using USB DP and DN. If you are planning to upload a firmware through the UART lines, then uh, you need to connect the UART 1, TXT, RXT, ground and power key lines. So power key line is basically just left out. You can connect it to a button or something. And let's see. Okay. First, let us start with the uh, USB firmware upload. And uh, for, for doing that, you need this software, SIM 800 SIM series download tools, customer v1.06. Scroll down to this file. So uh, if you just open this uh, software, it will open and it will, it will give the options. But uh, uh, even if you say start and upload, it won't work properly. So I better recommend that uh, you guys, you know, run this tool as administrator. Uh, right click and run as administrator. Yes. And now it's already selected SIM 800C. You can select any of your... Uh, modules which are you are using now i am using sim 800 c so port type is usb and uh, these are uh, these are not allowed to select and uh, browse to your cfg file uh, here uh, i have the new bluetooth enabled firmware for sim 800 c so i select that cfg file and uh, that's it first we turn on the power no let's wait First, uh, let's click on the start download button and now we can turn on the power to the module and the firmware upload should start. You see, first it uh, does some checks, formats it. And downloads the firmware. Okay, DLOK. Okay. Once it shows DLOK, okay, then the download is finished. So it's straightforward. You don't need to worry about any other pins and all. Just connect the USB lines and you should be done. Okay, now we'll exit the software. And now next I will show you how to, uh, you know, up download the firmware using UART lines. Uh, we will disconnect this USB lines. 
for the demonstration and I will connect my USB to UART converter which is the which is a CP2102 to USB to UART converter which I am using here now uh, what I done is I just connected the TX, RX and ground lines to TX, RX and ground lines of main UART of this SIM 800C module you guys also need to do the same basically the TX, RX and ground lines of your SIM 800 module should be connected to your PC make sure you connect the TX and RX lines properly with interchange the uh, uh, you know connection like uh, transmitter of PC is going to receiver of SIM 800 and receiver of uh, and uh, transmitter of SIM 800 is going to receiver of the PC now I will show you why what's the difference of running the software directly now if you see this uh, my silicon lab CP2102 USB to UART bridge is detected as COM8 port and uh, once it's detect detected uh, I will select the port here uh, SIM 800C UART mode and the COM port is it's not available because uh, I didn't run this software as in administrator mode so I'll close it and uh, right click this and uh, run as administrator okay now it's UART select the COM port COM8 and uh, one more thing you need you guys need to take care is uh, before you do all these things uh, you guys need to set the firmware uh, set the border to 115200 uh, which is mentioned here Okay, so if you guys look at this uh, upgrade process documentation which is provided by SIMCOM, this is the SIM 800 series software upgrade application note V1.00. So first thing you need to make sure is uh, you set the border to 115200, 8 bits, no parity, one stop bit, no flow control. So in your SIMCOM module you can just set the uh, border to 115200. Or you guys can you know put the SIM 800 module in auto board mode also. I think the bootloader of SIMCOM automatically detects whatever the board rate is the PC is communicating in. Okay, so once you do that, uh, come back here and select the CFG file which you want to upload, and say start download. Okay, once you start download, the download will not start automatically. Uh, you need to uh, press the power key pin then the download will start automatically as you can see the download starts at a slower speed compared to the USB port because everything is happening now at 115200 bits per second okay guys the download is done I think it took almost three minutes to uh, three minutes to download from the UART lines so uh, if you guys need uh, need the software to upload your firmware I think you will get this online in many places so if you guys want I will put a uh, put it in Dropbox and share you the links uh, in the description do make sure that you check the 
uh, you know description section for all the links of the softwares and uh, tools I have used I will also share all these documents okay that's all I guess if you like this video do make sure that you click on the like button and hit subscribe if you want to stay in touch thank you for watching